Welcome to Hardamil Dental Clinic. My name is Christian Mill and I would like to show you with this small presentation what we can do if root canal treatments fail. You can see here the initial situation of a patient showing us the two central incisors in the upper jaw. If we are suspicious, we can see the teeth have a little bit darker color than the residual dentition. And of course, because of that, we take an x-ray and we can confirm our suspicion and we can see two root canal treatments in those teeth. This small yellow arrow indicates the inflammation on the tip of the roots which have been removed by a previous episectomy. This episectomy has not been successful. As you can see here, the bone or the inflammation always looks a little bit darker on the x-ray than healthy bone. So if you want to keep those teeth, you will have to remove that inflammation. Optional, you can remove the teeth and then place a bridge, a denture or implants. In that case, the patient decided to keep her teeth and undergo the operation. You will see in the operation that we do a local anesthetic, lift the gums from the residual bone, as you can see here in that picture, and then we'll get to the inflammation. It is a little bit difficult to see, but you'll be able to see better once we clean up the inflammation. The inflammation is indicated here with a small yellow arrow. After removal of the inflammation, we cut again the tip of the root, clean it, so to speak. You can see that here on both teeth. The area of the tooth where you have a small external resorption. You can see that here on the left central incider indicated with a yellow arrow. That needs to be filled with a bio cement called MTA. After you have done that, you can fill the holes from the drilling where the inflammation has been with artificial material. Here you can see again the MTA indicated with the yellow arrow. And then here the holes filled with bone grafting material of bovine origin. After you have filled the holes, we place a membrane to cover that aspect. Here again indicated with a small yellow arrow. That membrane stops soft tissue from growing back again into that situation. If we want to make the gums more stable, we place an additional connective tissue graft which we have taken from the palatal aspect of your mouth, indicated again with the red arrow. That tissue graft is placed on the labial aspect of your teeth and the membrane. Thank you very much for your kind attention.